Welcome to June 27th, 2018. I'm Chris McClary with your Daily Code Mind Report. I have good news and I have bad news. We're going to start with the bad news first. Everyone keeps talking about Mars in retrograde. Sure, that's happening. And we talked about that yesterday. Go back and look at that one. It's still still on, still kind of fresh. So uh, if you didn't get yesterday's Code Mind Report, I encourage you to look at that. But on top of that, we have Sun oppose Saturn, which apparently is going to bring about some hardship, restrictions. Saturn likes to put up barriers, blockades to what you want to achieve. It's going to ask you to be very specific about what you want to achieve. And it's going to feel probably like you're swimming upstream, like everyone's pushing against you, restricting you from getting the stuff done that you want to get done. Now, Let's talk, no, okay, so the good news is, is that this particular phenomenon, this sensation that you're swimming upstream and there's a lot of restriction, that does not show up in the collective dreams, and that's the exciting part. I think overall, it looks ominous from the astrology standpoint and from the dream standpoint. Everything looks ominous in that there's a lot of um, baggage, there's a lot of restriction, there's a lot of blockades, there's a lot of things keeping us from moving forward. But that's the astrology. In the collective dreamscape, we do see a lot of astrology, but it's a lot more, or, or I guess, a lot less restrictive. Let's look at the red arrows here. Solution, purpose, theme, frame, dreams, and dreams in this case could mean goals what are your what is your vision for the future and what is this this looks like a whole lot like a capricorn moon capricorn is very goal oriented grounded purposeful practical that sort of that sort of thing it's um, it's, it's about achieving okay and so we have that definitely in here and what's interesting is towards the end of the day we're going to be going into a full moon with capricorn and apparently cancer but um, and that's going to be part of the blue arrows so the blue arrows look like the baggage from the past remember the mars in retrograde this is kind of part of this too laundry laundry from the past older um, entire 2016 i thought was interesting in there and there is something to say about that um, the last mars retrograde was a couple years ago so 2016 but i think the bot run might be asking us to look at not just that period, but the entire 2016 and seeing what was going on there, making sure that you've cleared up that uh, that whole mess and that whole laundry um, so that during the full moon you can release. In other words, died. You can the garbage dies. It's all in here. This, I, I think I find this run very positive, even though the astrology seems to kind of um, put a damper on our excitement. And of course, there's headwinds. Now, as far as the energy that you might be feeling, here's what I'm guessing, is that you do kind of have that, um, that opposition. So you have Capricorn going after things and achieving. But at the same time, you've got all this kind of garbage emotional stuff weighing you down. Plus, you've got the potential blockades from Saturn. And so you might be feeling sluggish with a sense of should. I should be doing this, I should be doing that, and I just don't have the energy. <clears throat> My suggestion is to first write a list down of all the things you have to do. Prioritize those. Prioritize, the, prioritize those in order, in order of priority, and then do the top 20%. <clears throat> when you do the top 20% of your priorities, you'll get a sensation that you've done 80% of your list. It's called the 20 or the 80-20 rule. And um, so that so when you find yourself doing the should thing, remember in this time period, we don't have endless energy like we did before, possibly. We might see these extra restrictions, especially if we have got to deal with the past still. So it, it's, it, it's, it's upon you to really whittle down what's the most important things in your life right now prioritize those but when you do decide your highest priorities and you start going after those develop a sense of patience and that's what your Capricorn influence is going to help you do 
but only on the most important things. Don't waste your time trying to do things that don't really have a lot of return in your life. Okay, that's it for today. I want you guys to have a wonderful day and please, please like us or follow us on YouTube or on Facebook and Instagram. Have a wonderful day.